Today we look at the 40 things they should add in year 5 for Rainbow Six Siege. Most of these are from your comments in my community post so thank you everyone for your comments and this is the list that I have created. Some I have made up myself, some are your comments so let's just get into this. The first thing is they should remove client side debris aka when you melee a barricade the debris should just completely disappear rather than just you know get stuck and then for the enemy it's not there and for you it is number two cross platform between xbox and ps4 quite self-explanatory this would be really fun and would reduce the search times and overall would just build a really good community within rainbow six each number three remove mouse and keyboard from console mouse and keyboard on console is unacceptable and if you're playing mouse and keyboard and then just get good to go on pc and yeah number four the Kaid org should receive a cog many of you stated that or many of you liked this comment Kaid org should receive a cog as Kaid is a one speed and not everyone is able to use the shop on a pretty good so a cog on the org could do a little bit of a buff number five being able to spectate your friends matches as you wait for them or just being able to spectate your friends in general so you could be talking to your friend they could be talking about how intense their matches and you know you could just hop in spectate them and see how their game is doing number six have all maps in the quick match Someone stated that in quick match, since it is casual and you just want to have fun, they should just make every map in quick match. And if you do want to play a little bit more seriously, but not so much ranked, and then there is unranked. So why not just have all the maps in quick match or casual? Number seven is a new improved T hunt. The current T hunt is really bad. Most of the uh, terrorists don't even know what they're doing. They walk around in circles, spin bot the ceiling, and can't. Okay, and then. They just aim but you c4s are everywhere not good you should be able to you know actually use t hunt as a practice thing rather than getting blown up randomly number eight is to add stadium to one of the playlists maybe casual or make it into its own playlist that you can just play whenever you want to have fun number nine is to have barricade skins Number 10 is to have drone skins. You could make the drone skins and barricade skins the new rarest thing, maybe one above legendary. Just so if you do hop into a match and see someone with a drone skin or a barricade skin, and then you do know that it is really rare and you should be impressed by their luck. Number 11 is the replay mode. It is leaked that there is a replay mode coming, but this is just on my wish list anyway because I do want a replay mode to come. Number 12 is all legendary packs should be non duplicate. Now it is already hard enough to get a legendary so the fact that it becomes a duplicate is even more frustrating and you want to smash your head into the keyboard and kill yourself please don't kill yourself but legendary duplicates should be removed number 13 is a arcade mode maybe the arcade mode is where they introduce new modes where they like i don't know maybe make the health 200 and pistols only just you know small fun arcade mode games and maybe they could have all the previous event uh, modes within the arcade mode number 14 is prisma should match alibi's loadout this is a much requested one and I believe got the most likes on a previous community post. But yes, the Prisma should match Alibi's loadout so you do have more of a hesitation on the Alibi's. If you're joining, see the Alibi, oh she's got this uniform on and then you're not going to get bamboozled by any of the Alibi Prismas so it's pretty pointless. And Alibi costumes are pointless anyway since the Prismas won't match it. Number 15 is custom keybinds for console. PC can do it, why can't console? Number 16. Warden should receive the P90, this might increase his pick rate and make him just better overall. Number 17, new weapons overall for new operators like the M4A1 and the PP Bison, this is what someone stated. Someone is out there that wants the M4A1 to come and I would love to see that as well. Number 18 is a improved battle wise system. You know hackers are annoying and this is pretty self explanatory, we do need a improved battle wise system. Number 19 is a story mode, each mission playing as one of the operators and kind of go through their background story and them as the character. Number 20 is hip fire lean on console. Being able to lean without having to aim in on console is a much requested thing within the console community. So seeing that come would be really good. Number 21, being able to join in progress. you like being able to join your friends match in progress but for casual only you see that your friend is in a casual match if there is space and then you can just join 
even if it does mean you are on the enemies that just makes casual a little bit more fun number 22 is a improved knifing system we all know that the knifing system is not reliable so improving the knife knifing system might be more reliable when you are up close to an enemy number 23 all staircase rails to be shootable how annoying is it when you're trying to shoot at someone and it's just good luck that your bullets hits all the metal bars and the enemies don't it's annoying as hell so all staircase rails should be shootable number 24 black eyes for all weapons in the game wouldn't you just love to open a pack and have black eyes for like a barnard's weapon or valkyrie's mpx or anything it would just Comment down below, if you're still listening this far, comment down below which weapon would look nice with Black Ice. Number 25 is a improved sound system. Number 26 is map pick and ban. That is also leaked, so hopefully that will come. Number 27 is major buffs to weaker operators like Nock and Amaru. This is a much requested thing, and honestly, it, it could be some severe buffs to knock that would make her interesting. Number 28 is the Chachanka rework that has been leaked but it's a wish list and I do want a Chachanka rework to come so it's going to be on this list. Number 29 is to increase the chance of legendaries because people have stated and myself actually I don't think I've got a legendary in like three months, four months, I haven't got one in ages, I can't even remember the last time so increasing the chance of legendaries would be pretty good. Number 30, being able to use defenders in T-Hunt Classic. If you're not going to improve T-Hunt as a whole and then at least use, let us use defenders in T-Hunt Classic. It's just a simple like this flick of a switch in the files, please let us do it. 31, remove team killing in quick match, this will you know remove the griefing and make quick match more fun. And then you know when you do take that step from casual to ranked you do have to learn that uh, people like teammates can be shots so you know it's just something new to learn when you do step up to rank number 32 is a advanced ping system apex is known for this so i think rainbow should have one too if you are in like a silver ranked not many people are going to have microphones so being able to ping a certain ping i guess you know it would just make it slightly much more reliable to communicate to your team Number 33, being able to play T-Hunt while searching for a match. Not only do I want defenders in T-Hunt, imagine you could play T-Hunt while searching and it doesn't stop the search time. Number 34 is a solo queue playlist. Within the solo queue playlist, they should also make it so this is like a separate rank as well. So you have ranked and then you have solo queue ranked and like you could brag to your friends like, oh, solo queue ranked is plat one and my normal ranked is like gold run you know just so because it is annoying when you are trying to solo queue when you are coming against five stacks so solo queue ranked playlists would be nice to have number 35 is to increase free speed walk sound now it's annoying when ash or iq or you know anyone free speeds just crouch walk and don't make a single sound there's nothing you can do about it you can't even like just please increase the sound Number 36, remove impacts on Legion. It is argued that Legion is the strongest operator in the game and is too powerful. So instead of nerfing his gadget, what if he what if we just change his loadout and just remove the impacts to make him that slightly a uh, bit weaker? Because in team rosters, we usually have Legion for the uh, rotations for impacts, right? So if you remove the impacts for on Legion. And then it would mean you would have to bring someone else with impacts which could then give up a really important like gadget i guess like what if you needed an echo but you also needed rotations so it's either like you play echo with the really good gadget or you play like vigil with not such a good gadget but will provide that rotation that so it will be interesting to see the uh, like operator rosters or roasters rosters you know change uh, number 37 is improving the red dot site in the game currently just imagine how good it would look if the red dot would look like the ones in call of duty that would just become the main thing but would it become too overpowered i don't know number 38 is a map that is an apartment this was one of the top comments i got as well someone wanted an apartment map and it got lots of likes honestly seeing this would be really cool 39 is that quitters should be penalized more so maybe like a one hour ban if you quit if you quit again within within the same day it goes to two hours and so on and so on just kind of like how csgo has theirs 
but obviously this could be debatable because like if your I don't know PC does shut off randomly you can't help it and then you just have like a one day ban that might be a bit much who knows and the final thing on my wish list is being able to select your favorite operators just in case you are AFK so you select five operators if the first four are taken and then your fifth one will be the one you get selected or auto selected so you pick your favorite pick the second favorite and then down to five and then if there's a massive coincidence that your team has picked the first four of your favorites and then yeah that fifth operator will be the one you get auto selected to but this is my list of full teams that I want in year five. I will put my list in the pinned comment down below if you don't want to watch all the video. Just so you can read through it. Let me know what do you want added into year five or just overall in Rainbow Six Siege. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. That's my intro, isn't it? I, I, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And goodbye.